Uh, MTN's Ugandan unit says its share sale this past month was oversubscribed by nearly 100%. According to the company, it received applications for 3 billion shares against the 1.6 billion shares on offer. That sale represents roughly 7% of the company's total equity. MTN was offering shares left over from its 2021 IPO, which was deeply undersubscribed in a new sale on the secondary market at the Ugandan Securities Exchange. The company, however, did not specify how much it raised from this offer. The Nigerian energy company Seplat Petroleum now has a green light to wrap up its $1.28 billion acquisition of ExxonMobil's Nigerian shallow water oil assets. That comes after Nigeria's state oil company NNPC filed a motion to discontinue its legal challenge against the transaction. The deal had sparked a legal dispute when NNPC asserted its preferential rights under a joint operating agreement with ExxonMobil. Analysts say this is a good sign for the oil sector as the deal will inject some much-needed capital into the industry and signal to investors that similar deals are likely to get regulatory approval. The Dubai-based logistics company DP World says it plans to spend $3 billion in the next three to five years on new ports and logistics infrastructure in Africa. Its CEO told Bloomberg that the firm will focus $2 billion on that upcoming investment on ports and the remaining $1 billion on the logistics business. The port operator is already expanding in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. It has also recently assessed harbors in South Africa and Kenya for potential investment as South Africa moves forward with a partial privatization of Transnet and at the port of Lamu in Kenya where there's also a privatization process underway. And finally, the fast fashion retailer Shein has hiked its prices by over a third on some core products. And it's a move that analysts say is likely to boost its revenues ahead of its planned initial public offering. According to data from the London-based research firm Indite, Shein's average price hikes exceed those of its rivals H&M and Zara. As a result, analysts estimate that its revenue will reach $50 billion this year, and that will be a 55% jump compared to last year. Sheehan has declined to comment on its IPO plans or valuation, but it is reportedly seeking a valuation of some $63 billion in a listing in London.